Today I'd like to spend a few minutes and show you how to straighten horizontals and verticals. This is probably the number one problem with real estate photos that you see on the MLS, on flyers, every place, uh, that a lot of folks don't pay attention to keeping these uh, verticals and horizontals straight. Uh, this, this image here is an example. And what happens is because those horizontals and verticals aren't straight because our heads and eyes get in this habit of living in a world that is uh, straight, both horizontal and vertical. When we see something that's kind of out of whack like this, uh, it doesn't feel right and it distracts from the main purpose of that the photograph is uh, performing and you don't want to do that. So you want to remove that. Now there's several ways to prevent the crookedness while you're shooting. Um, you can sight off of the left and right um, edge of the frame, a number of things, put on a tripod, use a bubble level, uh, use a focusing screen that's got lines on it, a bunch of things you can do. But in the end, even when you do some of those things, you have to you usually have to tune this photos up because there's going to be some that are out. So here's the way you do it. Um, first of all, and, oh, and by the way, this is, I'm using Photoshop Elements um, 9 that is um, same on Mac and PC. Uh, what I'm, first thing I want to do is I want, Photoshop Elements will fill the screen with the image, so and I want to have a little space around it to work with as we stretch and, and twist these things. So if you double click on this percentage, this is how big a percentage it is now. You just double click on that, it selects it all. And I I work with like about 30%, so I'll put a three zero in there and just hit return, and that gives me some extra space. Second thing I want to do is I want to have some reference lines and to be able to get those reference lines, you need to have rulers on. So that gives you these white rulers on here. And now if you go and, and click and drag, you get a, a reference line. It will make one that's um, perfectly horizontal. And we'll do the same thing. We'll, we'll get two of them. And we'll put one on this line uh, on the left. And we'll put one on the other line. Uh, that's most noticeable out is right there. Okay, so the, now the first thing we want to do is, since we've got problems with both the verticals and horizontal, let's straighten the horizontal first. And that's really easy to do. You come up here under Image and Rotate and Free Rotate. So we're just going to rotate the image. And the way you do that is you grab these little handles, these little things on the side here, and you just twist and you twist around until it looks uh, pretty straight to your, with respect to your reference mark. And then you hit enter. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to straighten these, these vertical lines out. And the way we do that is we say image, transform, distort. And there's a bunch of ways to do this. I like transform, distort because you don't always know whether the verticals or the horizontals are out. And with distort, it just allows, allows you to jerk the image around the way it's supposed to be. So what you do now, we want to move this line out. We're going to grab this handle down here, and we're just going to move this out. And you see that, um, that line comes in, comes in. Now this one, it looks pretty, it's a little out, so we'll grab this one and we'll move it a little bit over here. And depending on how much you do this, you might have to, as you do one side, you may have to come back and tune up the other side. So that looks pretty good. Now, as you'll notice, we because we've, you know, we have to remember to hit enter uh, until these little handles go away. Okay, now we did some stuff up, you know, we moved it around, and it, well, we have to recrop the image. 
So what we do is we use the crop tool. You click when you click on the crop tool. There's a there's an aspect ratio setting up there, and you'll notice that it says uh, use photo ratio. That is, it's going to use the same aspect ratio that the photo originally was. Uh, so what you do is you just put that crop tool up there and drag it across, and that looks about right. When this this will have to be down a little bit because we didn't get it right on top, and then when you hit enter, it crops it, and that looks pretty good. Um, so that's how you do it. And it's really important to do this stuff, even if it's just a little bit. It's just amazing how the eye can pick up the slightest bit of vertical line being out of whack. So tune them up and make them perfectly straight.